How's it going, everyone? Today we have the Kyocera Dura XV Plus. This is the Extreme XV Plus from Verizon. It is an incremental update to the already great Kyocera Dura XV, and it comes with Android 10 and a couple of extra niceties. First, the hardware, we're going to explore it. It is a rugged device. You need this to essentially unlock the back. You unscrew it, you get the back access to the battery, SD card, and also a SIM card. You also have the ability to have USB-C for convenience. You have an extra key right here and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is great that they have retained that then you have also another key right here programmable and volume rockers for your phone you have a camera nothing to rave about but pretty good it's decent it will get you through sending documents or you know a couple of extra information that you might need to send via a picture and it does have a info reader right here that lets you know what's going on now um i've been using this for about a week week and a half and there's nothing to say like, oh my goodness, this is so much amazing than the Dura XV Extreme, which was already a good device. But if you're looking for an upgrade uh, and you already have the Dura XV, the regular one, not the plus version, the Extreme, uh, I would say don't get this one. But if you don't have it, this is an excellent device. So a couple of things, uh, developer options, you're able to uh, use that. You go to about phone, then you will go to software information, build number, select it seven times, and it will tell you you are a developer. Then you go back and you will have developer options right there where you can go to uh, the beauty of uh, USB debugging. It takes a little bit uh, essentially because it goes kind of back and forth, but you eventually get there as I will get right there, USB debugging, and you can connect it to a terminal, use ADB app control and install all the apps that you need. Now, I will say that the battery life on this device is great. Three to four days on just a regular phone, no extra add-ons. And probably if you add an app or two, you'll be able to still use it for two to three days. The Wi-Fi is one of the things that mm, has been a little bit finicky. It disconnects sometimes and it connects once again. Uh, it doesn't take long to reconnect but maybe it's a configuration on my wi-fi or maybe it's just this device but i haven't had many big issues you have of course messages contacts email you have a media center where you have my verizon cloud camera music player file manager and sound recorder then you also have a gallery you have call history a browser it's pretty minimal i'm going to show you how to install an application here in just a second uh, but you can navigate if you need some information in a pinch or if you need a couple of extra things, I downloaded the f APK to show you a couple of things. And right here, you also have settings and tools. As you see, it's disconnecting my Wi-Fi back and forth. I think it's just the strength of the device, uh, but I don't know, that's just something that I've seen. Business tools, push to talk, field force, uh, manager, device control, these are kind of Verizon add-ons. You have a calculator, calendar, alarm, and the calendar is functional, it's not just a view, right? So you can put stuff in there, like new event, new task, things of that nature. You can display the calendar. So there's stopwatch, world clock, notepad, and you also have a flashlight right there. And of course, you also have an FM radio. And you know, it will tell you right there to use an FM radio. Uh, optional is to use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can get a better antenna, but you can use it without it. And then you have the volume, you can press, you can tune, things of that nature. It works great. So again, you have an FM radio, it works, it's decent. And you also have echo mode, which is essentially a battery saver. It's again, very good at battery. And I'm pretty sure with battery saver, it probably can last six to seven days or maybe five days for sure. If you're not using it that much. Now, if you use it pretty much every day here, far in between, I can guarantee probably two to three days for sure. Three to four days has been my expected outcome and it has been pretty good um, reconnecting between Wi-Fi. You also have email. You can set it up with Yahoo, AOL, Outlook Exchange or other probably for Gmail. And you have notifications right there, which I downloaded the Android APK to show you that you can install applications on this. It doesn't have a virtual mouse coming from the get go, but because this is based on Android 10 and not Android 11, the mouse will work, which is a modification that you can do. You can also go in there to, I downloaded the file from the browser, uh, but you can put it into your file manager if you wanted to. And right there, settings, it will tell you allow from this source. Uh, which is uh, the browser now, and I can install F-Droid. Now, after you install F-Droid or any other application like Spotify or, you know, things that don't need Google Play services, Uber does, so probably this wouldn't work. It probably will work in the browser, but not on your regular web services. Now, as you see, I don't have a mouse to navigate. 
Sometimes it allows me to do this, bring a mouse that is already ready right here from the pound key. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. In this case, uh, let's see, it does work. So you don't need to install a virtual mouse from a different um, application on this specific model. So it seems that it's already baked in and I've been testing different applications, but uh, this is the first one that actually works uh, for Spotify and for different things. I had to use a little bit of tweaks uh, but this one works. And again, it has the ability to have that mouse when you press the pound key. Most applications, it will work with the native one, but just in case, make sure to use a virtual mouse if you want to use a different application. And again, it's, it's kind of loading, it's still refreshing the feed, you know, things of that nature uh, for F-Droid. But it's really nice that you can just press the pound key and it will be able to bring that mouse automatically. You don't have to install anything. You just have to install the APK via ADB app control, via browser, via file manager, whichever way you prefer to get your applications. And of course, again, it's updating the repositories for my Wi-Fi, which is disconnecting back and forth. So it's probably having a couple of issues. But as you see, you're able to install extra applications on this device. Uh, one that I love to install once I get after it working is uh, specifically um, the application that I like is AntennaPod. So AntennaPod is one of my favorite applications and I can install it. Now, all the applications that you install are not going to be here in the home screen. They're going to be under business tools. So right there, business tools. Now we have F-Droid. So it's not automatically there, right? It's going to be now nested right here on the business tools and you can open the application again, right there is refreshing some of those really nice uh, applications that are going to be set up. And of course, the 4G LTE will be faster than my Wi-Fi because it's, again, having a little bit of Wi-Fi issues. I have seen more Wi-Fi issues today than usual, but maybe that's because I'm recording and it's kind of like bugging. But overall, it has been sticking and I'm going to try to connect and see if something on my Wi-Fi configuration is kind of messing up the device. But that's just, uh, again, just uh, an idea right there. Uh, I got an error getting the repositories because it doesn't have internet, but once it reconnects, you know, I guess it'll be fine. Again, very good, very, very nice device. And let me show you a little bit of texting. So if you do message, you, of course you put the number, you can do triple click. You can also have prediction. You can have text options right here, which are word scan. You can have my words, which is your own personal words that you may use. Uh, you can also have the ability to do web shortcuts or emoticons and smileys, uh, emojis right here, right there, boom. You can put whatever you want. And I'll show you the prediction and how it works. So the space is with the pound key, which has been a little bit of an adjustment, but hello. Um, oh, interesting. Hello, there it is. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph. Sure, Joseph is fine. And I like to do, let's see if it does dumb phone. No, it's not going to do, oh, right here. Yeah, H. No, it's not going to do dumb phone. So I probably, that's a word that I need to add. Um, but I can do right there. Let's see, D-U-M-B. Let's find it, dumb phone reviews and right there you have a little bit of how it works you can clear it and send it whichever way you want you can also do triple click if you would just prefer to triple tap and go double tap for H, things of that nature you can also have symbols which are quite nifty and it does have a good selection and of course you can just go back and do that it does um have this key right here but it's not necessarily for um very robust text messages is more like, hey, send hello or send I'll be there to a certain number. So for example, I'll try it right now. Send text to 818-641. And right there it says send text. Okay, well, yes. Opening text message and it opens it up. It doesn't actually do the voice command, but you can open the voice command for call or check item or look up or go to a certain part of the menu, which is again, an improvement, but it's something that you need to be aware of. 
Again, very good device uh, for $250 plus tax, $260, $270, depending on where you live. I think it's an excellent device that you can customize if that's what you want, or you can leave it as is and use it for long term because these last forever. If you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices I review, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll be interacting with you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.